Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five things I hate about my stance Camaro. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and show some love to the channel, man. Without further ado, let's let's get right into the video, though. Feeling like I'm floating to the ceiling, is it magic? Baby, tell me why you disappearing, is it magic? Excuse me, y'all. My car's a little dirty, but let me kind of give you guys a little walk around. Around my stance Camaro, you know? It's basically what it is right here, you guys. So you guys probably already guessed it, but um, number one is gonna be tire wear, you guys. So um, obviously my car is on air suspension. Um, I have a kit from AirTech. When we, when we first installed my bags, we were trying to put my tires back on and we realized that um, it was gonna rub if I just uh, ran my tires straight. So we had a camber it like max on the struts that it came from AirTech. So um, I realize now that like my fucking, my tires last like three months or like four months and like they just like they de beat or like they fuck up. Just flip them. Cause I didn't know you could flip them. So you flip them and you basically just turn them the other way around and they'll last you longer. But as you can see right here, my thing is a little more cambered. It's like this. And that causes the inside of the tire to wear. But yeah, you guys, that was reason number one. Reason number two, you guys, is gonna be the visibility. Um, I have louvers and I have tinted windows. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the inside. Here it is, you guys. If you guys ever wonder what it looked like inside of a fucking Camaro, no visibility, my boy. It's true. Look, side side windows. You can barely see anything. Like dumbass, I mean, put stickers on his fucking mirror, and it's even worse, bro. But hey, it looks dope though. Hey. The visibility in this thing is ass, bro. But I found a method for this too. So you can't really tell when somebody's next to you because it's a really bad blind spot. And this is the RS, so it doesn't come with the little um, thing that shows you the when the car's next to you. So all I do is basically I just step on the gas. I just switch lanes and like they're gone, bro. Like they're behind you or like, you know? But yeah, you guys, that's reason number two. Reason number three, you guys, is gonna be scraping. If you don't like to scrape and you like your car to look nice, bro, I'm on bags and I still scrape. But you better you better kiss those things goodbye, my boy. Kiss the lips, kiss the diffusers, kiss all that shit goodbye. Cause let me show you guys my shit real quick. Okay, so this usually has a winglet right here. It's gone, bro. This shit's all dented, all fucked up right here. This is the winglet I'm telling you guys about that's missing. I lost a, I lost a side marker one time. Shout out my boy Artwork, so this fool, this is my, third lip i believe i'm on my third lip right now that was my finger look like that bro the hell but yeah you guys if you guys don't don't like scraping i don't recommend you guys going bags or coils because this shit fucking sucks you got a hella angle when you get out of a driveway or get in a driveway you know what i'm saying so yeah guys that's reason number three scraping reason number four you guys is gonna be the brake dust this shit produces because i got chrome wheels bro and this shit fucking sucks cleaning them. and sucks they get hella dirty. Look at this. They get hella dirty, bro, because of all the brake break dust this shit produces. And I got chrome wheels, so. Like, my fender all the time is like, like most of the time it's like black right here. My fucking side spat right there, the little diffuser thing. That shit's always dirty as fuck due to the brake dust from this thing. Yeah, you guys, that's reason number four. Last and not least, you guys, reason number five, it doesn't just um, apply to me, but I think it applies to the whole car community. But fucking cops, bro. If you don't want to be pulled over, you don't want to like, get stopped by cops, get tickets and shit, I recommend you don't modify your car. But me personally, I fucking hate it, bro. Like, I haven't been um, pulled over in this car for like tens or nothing like that. None of like, my modifications. But like just knowing that I could get pulled over like at any instant, bro. Especially like when a, cop's get, a cop gets behind me and like they're driving like on my ass. I'm like, bro, I'm going to get pulled over. I'm going to get pulled over. Like, that shit fucking sucks. But... Yeah, you guys, that's the last reason. Reason number five, cops. But yeah, you guys, that's going to be all the reasons for my car. Um, I know a lot of different Camaro owners like will think different and stuff, but this just applies to my Camaro. Um, I still love it, though. I, I Those are just some things that I don't like. Like, I do like the car in general, but those are just some things that like I wanted to point out that suck from this car, you know? It's still a very fun car to drive, even though it's not a V8 to RS. I know a lot of people be like, oh, it's a Z01, it's all it says. And then they gas me when they find out it's a four cylinder, but hey, I'd rather get the turbo noise in my boy. 
if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you guys drop a like um hit that subscribe button and leave a comment let me know what else you guys want to see you guys but i'll catch you guys next time peace